I have worked with His Excellency Mr. Peter Obi in Onitsha about 17 years ago as a commanding officer. Before he came to Onitsha to take over from Dr. Ngige, Chris Ngige, during the time of Chris Ngige, there was no operation on Mesa in the whole of Anambra State for reasons best known to them then. But when he came, he took over. He drove straight to the barrack and asked. And when we briefed him, he now went back and Operation Mesa was restored a week later or thereabout. As at that time, it was like a no man's land in Onisha. Three, three, you cannot go. Ogbaru, you cannot go. Then talk less of the other areas when it was restored. I was the, uh, the officer in charge of the internal security operations. I was collocated with artillery regiment, but as a commanding officer, CEO, Lieutenant Colonel, I was in charge of the operations. Believe me, within two weeks or thereabout, everything was tackled. Onitsha became free. You couldn't go out. The police were sacked. And that was why I believe that after about six, more, uh, six months to one year, the police actually acknowledged that Anambra was a peaceful, most peaceful state in the country as at that time. So that was where I knew him. And I saw the character of integrity. In short, for me, I was calling him Commissioner of Defense because he was in command and in control. He had an interest. And I said, this man, he does not allow the resources that comes to the military or whatever to exude to pass through anybody straight. Our challenge was patrol vehicles, no mobility. In a sweep, when he said, what is the problem? He provided it immediately. Following his record, from research, never convicted of corruption, of stealing integrity. Is it reaching to people? Is it uh, international relations and all whatever? Economic knowledge and all that? Competence, capability. And before long, I saw him trotting almost all over the whole. You will see him short at a point. I say, is this man a spirit? Somebody asked me, say, is this, is this man a spirit? You will see his protocol today. Before you know, they say he's somewhere. I'm all that. And I prayed and I made up my mind. This is somebody that we need at this time.